So the speed's looking better here and then straight into too much pump. Okay, so this is a really easy one to, to look at because it, it's actually a bit more extreme than anyone else's. So let's slow it down, start at the beginning. So flat water paddle out from Dan. He's getting close and he's what he's doing really well is he's starting nice and slowly. So he's got like just working speed to start with, just keeping the board flat. And what he has to do then is sort of increase his pump to bigger and bigger and bigger as his speed gets more. And what he's doing wrong, what it looks like is he, he jumps from here, so speed, to here. So he misses all of this section and that sends him into a stall. So let's play the video and we'll show you exactly what I mean. You can see here, he's got a nice big catch, good, powerful, driving the paddle down. He's working on his speed first. And as he continues to paddle, you can see the speed increases. And from here, so okay, you can probably start pumping now. And he does some little pumps, little pumps. Then he goes straight into one really big pump. And look at the speed that he loses straight away. So the speed loss is huge. And he's basically back going slower than what he was at the start. So by pumping too much, it actually kills your speed completely. So he's really got to work on this middle section here, the little pumps to bridge the gap from his speed at flat to planing to pumping up onto the foil. And so again, we can see it here. He's got speed and the little pumps are looking good. And I'm going to pause it. You can see just on this one and this one, see how he's lost all his speed and basically he's just lifted that nose up too high. And you can see just this one here is the one. So he's got his speed and then boom, too high. And you can see actually basically what happens is on this pump, he's lifted up too much. And what that does is actually sends him backwards and loses his speed straight away. So the angle is too high and he isn't doing a pump. When he lifts the nose up, you want to be able to pump down and through. And what he's done is he's lifted up and he actually just stalls backwards back into the back, like the hole behind him. So you got you got to work the little pumps, keeping the, the movement and the motion forwards, not jump forward to these really big nose high pumps. Because if you go too nose high, you actually go back to you go nose high on the down pump. So you got to go nose high to nose low, even when we're paddling and pumping. So, and that's where you got to work on the little tiny pumps to be able to get up and going. Um, in terms of paddle technique, we can see um, the paddle angle is pretty good. And you can see he's stacking his shoulders more than you, Jacko. He's stacking it across and that's allowing him, again, his, his hands are pretty wide. That's a powerful, powerful grip. But with his shoulders across, it's giving him more power. And you can see he is leaning forward, his knee is bent. It's in front, like basically in front of his toe. But on this particular freeze frame, he's, he's just overcooked it. And you can see the speed just drops off so quickly. See how much better his paddle technique is here at the start. And how it maybe actually I write it. So he's he probably needs to finish his stroke a little bit earlier. And that in turn is going to allow him to increase his cadence too. So he's finishing his stroke all the way back, sort of, especially on this one. See so how he's finishing it way back behind his back foot. If we think about taking our stroke and going to the nose finish at the front of your feet and then go back up and then to the nose and to the front of your foot. It increases your cadence and it gives you the most um, powerful part of your stroke. So the catch through to the first part of the power phase is the most powerful. That second half of the power phase is more about pulling it out. And, and what he's doing is he's going too far past his feet and that negative angle is actually driving his nose into the water. So he's actually going slower. So increase the cadence, increase the cadence by increasing the number of strokes, but shorten the back half of your stroke, don't shorten the front half of your stroke. That's going to give you that little bit more speed too. And you can see how he's going past. And as he increases the cadence, he actually drops. That's the other thing. His, as soon as he starts to pump, watch what happens here. As soon as, I go a little bit further back. So nice, long reach, good, long reach. And then as he starts to go faster, his stroke gets shorter. So look here, on that stroke, he's right at the nose. As we continue playing, he starts to pump. He's barely reaching his front foot. So as he continues, as he increases his cadence, he's shortening the, he was reaching to here and going to there. Now he's only reaching to here and going to there. So you can see that's his paddle up. That's his sprint stroke is this reverse triangle. And we need it to be this positive triangle. 
Yeah. So for our paddle stroke, that's that's actually where he's probably going more wrong than the pumping. Because he not only does he pump more aggressively, but he halves the power that he had. So by increasing the power, <laughs> by increasing the power generated, he's actually um by by decreasing his power generation and increasing the pump, it's a recipe for stalling. So to try to paddle up in the flat, you have to increase your power generation, increase the cadence, increase the the, de- the depth of the stroke, you know, keep it good. And to do that, you continue your speed into the pump. But what he's done here is he's decreased his power, increased his pump, and it's just a recipe for stalling. So um, I'm actually glad we looked at that a little bit in more detail because we can see that stroke just gets shorter and shorter and then just sends him into a nosedive and a stall because he's pumping too far up and down and then into the water. Done. <laughs> so here's another one of him. This is how I'm going the other direction. And this, this really actually, that, 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 this stroke here, you could, that, that's a really strong, powerful stroke. Down and through, powerful body, body stance. And let's see what happens on this one. Similar thing. The, the, and if we just forget about his pumping, his stroke is halved. So I'm going to slow-mo it. From there, reaching to the front of his board. As soon as he starts to pump, watch what happens to his stroke. He's literally getting the, the paddle in vertical rather than positive angle. So he's, he's, it's like his whole body is leaning back and you actually have to keep that weight forward when we go for our sprint. So Dan, you've got to work on your sprinting technique and keeping your stroke nice and strong when you go for the sprint. The other thing is um, speed, little pump, little pump, bigger pump, bigger pump, bigger pump, bigger pump, bigger pump, bigger pump, and then you're up. And you're missing from here to here and your stroke um, goes from a really nice, powerful, strong stroke when you're doing this section and then when you go to this section, when you skip this bit, you skip that. When you go to here, your stroke goes to shit, basically. You, as you start to increase the cadence, the, the reach is gone, the, the splash increases, so you're getting extra turbulence. And so all your power generation from your paddle has disappeared. And it's really good here. And then you skip this bit, and then you completely lose it here. So we need to work on paddle technique and small pump technique. And then you're going to get it. So Dan, I, I reckon you're you're actually a lot closer than you think because your technique's really good here, and you've completely skipped this bit. And if we can add that bit in, it's going to help you heaps, and that's going to allow you to um, get closer to the pump. But your paddle technique has got to get better in this section. So uh, this lots of the flat water paddle ups this week, but it's really good to show um, where people are going wrong, and it is slightly different bits. Um, but the the big one is th- this. The paddle technique, the power generation, and then the the small pumps to bridge the gap to the big pumps to get up and going. Join the Coach Casey Club to get feedback from your videos every Tuesday.